Anyway, guys, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna skip. He didn't call okay. me. <laughs> okay, skip. <laughs> All right. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> hello and welcome to the alternate <laughs> FX circuit, May 2022 grand final. Uh, yeah, we have the grand final. 20 players uh, are ready here who are going to battle. And uh, yeah, they all qualified through the three weekly qualifiers. I guess by now, by now you all know how it works. So we had three weekly qualifiers where people could get points mm -hmm, mm -hmm, towards mm -hmm. a monthly leaderboard. And the top 20 of the monthly leaderboard got invited to this monthly Final right now, where they will battle it out in a knockout with 20 people, maybe only 19 because someone is missing, which I'm really mad about. But um, yeah, we have some nice prizes for the top three. So yeah, basically, <laughs> it only matters failing. if you get top three. Or, uh, yeah, <laughs> but it only matters if you get top three, basically. Yeah. And uh, I would say we're quickly, quickly gonna go through the prizes, and then maybe Turbo, you can explain exactly how the knockout is gonna work. Yeah. I think that's the plan. Well, uh, the first place of today will win a Logitech Pro X Super Light gaming mouse worth around 110 euros. Absolute pock champ Bluetooth mouse looks very gorgeous. Then uh, second place Logitech G Pro gaming keyboard worth nice. around 100 euro as well, looking really nice. Also, oh, mm, mm, nom nom nom, mm, nom nom. <laughs> <laughs> and then the third place is going to win the Logitech G Pro X headset. Worth around 80 euros, also really, really cool. So yeah, as you can see, the whole edition this month is actually sponsored by Logitech. So shout out to them, clap. Very nice. Clap for Logitech, thank you for sponsoring. And uh, yeah, that is basically what's on the uh, on the wait. How do you say on the on the on the menu on the on the uh, yeah or on the line for on today. The line, yeah, and people exactly at turbo. Yeah, and yeah. hello, 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 hello. <laughs> Was I muted? <laughs> Oh, I was laughing about your jokes. Yeah, go start. Explain. Yeah. Okay, but <laughs> Hello. there is also something on the line and Kai, people... Check, check. Kai, check. Hello, what? Dude, I thought I muted. Am I muted now? No, you're not. No. Dude, I unmuted. I Listen, you completely no. confused me. Okay, people have to hold <laughs> the line because there is something on the line. Okay, now we figured out everything here. But now, how the knockout works. We have interesting maps, or we've had interesting maps this edition, because they were built by a TMGL... Not mapper, but player, Granadi DE. Granadi has built on a stream his maps. Hello. And this is uh, the map here, Amogas. Yeah, interesting name. But how it will work here is players have qualified throughout those three editions where they ha have c accumulated points. And now players are playing this new map. 20 players sh should show up. They have five minutes of warm up. First round is without knockouts, so we play in a knockout format. And after every round, after the no knockout round, one player is getting eliminated. It's always the last player. And then the top three is going home with those prizes that Granadi has uh, mentioned beforehand. So that's, I exactly. think, the format. It's quite easy. It's straightforward. Yo, Just don't be last. Exactly. Yeah, and as Fro explained, uh, I built the map myself, so I think I'm going to give you guys a quick overview, actually, for those of you that have not watched the mapping stream. So, uh, originally I planned to do a NASCAR map, so the start is kind of NASCAR, and at the ending I just build random shit. <laughs> <laughs> so at the beginning you have like a nice full speed part, which is uh, very tight to get full speed, but you can do it. Then we have like a really nicely calculated slide here, I gotta admit, where you slide all the way up. Then, to slow down the speed, you have to go over a lot of penalty grass, which is kind of boring. I'm sorry. He just wanted <laughs> to stall. Then you go onto the dirt. Exactly, exactly. Then onto the dirt. Then, if you have some skills, you can uh, no slide oh, the outside at one. full speed. Gear up. You get a yeah. lot of speed up the hill, yeah. Hold the gear, the yeah. Slalom. Then the turnaround at the top here, where I uh, just didn't really know what to build otherwise. So, I'm sorry. I know that's bad. And that's kind of the map already. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I only gave myself one hour to build the map. And I you know first. it's not the greatest product, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, that is the map that we're gonna see today. I think we're at least gonna have some close uh, races, hopefully. I think so, and but, I uh, mean, we're gonna see. Yeah, the, this map is not too hard, especially because I mean, may maybe the no breaks is hard because it's like pulling you off guard at the start. And I'm right now specking Bonner. He goes for this line here as well, very, very good. And then you have to drift quite early and hold the drift. And then, of course, it's important that you gather as much speed as possible to quickly go over that grass and not slow down as much as, uh, yeah, your opponents. And also here you can go for a no side as well as here. So very cool line and also favors action key users or controller players. But cool map. I also yeah. like the reuse at the end. Um, you have to gear down and gear up again. And then it's only straightforward to the ending. Maybe the obstacles could have been a bit more challenging. But guys, now we have the no knockout round, no elimination. We have 20 players actually playing. 
Okay, everyone is there. So everyone is here. I think it was Aria missing, I think. But he joined. But he joined. Team. He joined in time. Everyone here, nice. We actually have two substitutes who usually would not have played because uh, Dexter uh, would have usually qualified who cannot play and also Krakus would have mm -hmm. technically uh, played today. But they get substituted by Fishy Frog from Ireland, actually. And also by uh, North from the USA. So two substitutes, but uh, yeah. Nice. Glad that we have 20 players. They're going to be interesting to see. Uh, I don't think every one of those players watched the mapping stream, so some of them just saw the map for four minutes only. So we're going to see. Hopefully also uh, the map is at least kind of equalized, because I feel like the turnaround at the ending is one of the most important parts yeah. of the map. But also the start. Like, if you don't get the start really nicely, you can lose a lot of time, I think. So we're going to see. Yeah, there, there's but three spots here really, on this yeah. one. Like, the turnaround, as you said, then the first drift, and then the second one. That's the map, and it's in 43 seconds. So a lot of stalling, but I think it's a great one, because they have really have to push, and you cannot really save it too much, you know? If someone is a little yep. bit behind, you can always push it. So good luck to the players. One elimination. It will not change throughout the course, because you cannot go lower than one. And let's see who will be the first one going out, and it's not in contention of the victory tonight. I'll go with Tudu, 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 Tudu. Tutu -tu -du -du in the first oh, round. Oh, we already have two mistakes actually. Oh, Zemos. Zemo is also area. Ah, yeah, Zemos, sorry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> already <is> last week. <laughs> I'm always saying Zemo is. But also North already quite far behind. So what is that horn from? For them. Wait, what horn? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I didn't hear it. Yeah. But he's in danger. He's one second behind a fishy frog, but yeah. North with more speed. Funnily enough, the two substitutes are fighting for the first knockout. Hmm. So North might still be able to catch uh, oh. Fishy Frog with a good ending. That's a good one, actually. Gets the gear up. Oh, North getting the gear. Fishy with oh. slowdown. Oh, oh, it's a slip. Oh, my God. <laughs> Lol. What a snipe by North in the first round. 6.6 .6 seconds behind the field, but they like... Oh, my God. <laughs> so, guys, no, North is what the fan race. favorite. Yeah, automatically. Yeah. And Fishy Frog sadly already out, but still cool to see him here. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that, oh, that, that was that, fun. I wow. sad for him. That, that was fun. Oh, well, thanks a lot for playing Fishy Frog. Thanks for substituting. Yeah, pretty cool. It's good, man. Oh, someone made a mistake. I think it was Bonne. Yeah. Bonne. Oof. Oh, oh no. Oh, he's not making a jump. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, that's some bad mapping there. Bonne uh, was in the Tonne. Tonne. <laughs> <laughs> Also, Chris oh, with the respawn. Also, Chris. Oh, but Bonnie is even slower, so. I just... Not looking good for Bonnie here. And Chris is safe, yeah. Bonnie had no speed, so that was really, really bad for him. Making a mistake there. Chris could have respawned. No uh oh. Hmm? Oh, no. We're not bullying players. I mean. Hmm? What's going on? Oh my, oh no. Hallo? 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 Oh. <laughs> Hallo? Granadi? Hallo? <laughs> I think his internet is dying. Uh, Hallo? Granadi? He left the server. Okay, wait, I'm gonna continue the casting. Let's go into the next round. And let's see what Lars is doing, because Lars is behind. <laughs> and Lars is on last. We have Marius ahead of him. <laughs> and then Elcon, Zemaus, and Nalax there. But Lars needs a miracle here to make something happen. So I hope that Granadi returns in time. And uh, let's see what Lars can do. Very good outside line here from Lars. Gathers up a lot of speed. The fabulous Willy, not with a lot of speed. Lars with a lot of speed here in this apple. Very important to get that. Do -do 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 also there. But he will be in. And um, Lars lives another day. Willux will be out. Because he made a mistake. Hello? Are we back? Kanadi? Hello? Hello? Kanadi? Hello? Can I tap one in chat? <laughs> Can I tap? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> dude, what is happening, dude? <laughs> As if I'm gonna cast his final now, dude. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> well, let's go to the next round. Let's see what Lars is doing because he's on last again. <laughs> and see what he's doing. Oh no, we see a mistake here from Nalax. Pussy to Paco also with a mistake. And we also have the Fabio's Fabulous Willy with a mistake. Nalax with no speed though. Look at that. Willy with a lot of speed coming back. And also Boss Pass. What is happening here? That is uh, so bad here for Boss Pass being more than two seconds behind. Nalax with a great line. Pussy to Paco goes for that line that Lars has also chosen in the last one. Intax and Ixon here dominating for Team Evo. And also Nalax with a good ending. Oh, lost the gear there. So this is not so good. And we have uh, yeah, him disconnecting. Let me actually activate the in-game OST. Yeah, there you go. Alright, there you go. So Nalax in, boss pass out actually. So top 17 for the Emirates driver. And we still have four okay boys left. Kubikus, Lars, Marius and of course Shorty. And let's go ahead into the next one. So unfortunate uh, that uh, he has DC, but I'm just gonna continue with the cast um, as it was nothing. We see the first mistake already by Intax. Cannot clear this speed check and he doesn't know it. He doesn't know what he's doing there. So Intax is uh, making that mistake and he's out on that one. So Marius now is safe. Nalax as well and we've seen a mistake from Willy. So he falls behind as well right now in the bubble man position. Never mind, Zemaus also with a mistake. So Zemaus right now is on P number 15. Willy again with a bad line here. And he uh, will drop down to last position again. It's really important that you accumulate as much speed as possible there. And we see Elkon and Bresso in first and second. Shorty behind 43.56, which is right now. I got you, homie. Schlupsen has gifted a sub to my Natal. Dude, that's a tier 3 sub, man. Holy shit. Keck wait, man. Thank you. That is a lot of money, dude. That is a lot of money. Thank you very much. Keck wait, dude. <laughs> That's a hum moment indeed. Let me cast. Let me cast, guys. Oh, God. Super overwhelmed here. Super chaotic. Super chaotic. Well, we have uh, 15 players now still left. Nalax now with a mistake. He cannot make the jump. Nalax still goes for it and he doesn't know. Nalax was unaware and he will be out or it's looking grim for him. But to -do 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 with a mistake. And Nalax is ahead of him, but to -do 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 with way more speed over the grass section. But Nalax is so far ahead. Look at that. Dude, Ganadi, I'm super sorry, man. I, I am not sure what's what's happening here. Mine <laughs> has gifted one subs to viewers. Oh, what is happening here, dude? Jesus Christ. Uh, guys, we, we're getting oiled here, man. Stop. We have to cast. So Nalax will be in and to -do, do out. Or to do to do do. But thank you so much. Two tier three subs. I really appreciate it. Mine Hotel and Schlupsen. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. And uh, guys, now I'm the um, the substitute for Ganadi. And of course, Ganadi, you can upload that to YouTube um, with my POV and maybe just cast over it tomorrow or something that's completely fine you know you also have, always have permission to do that or i mean you can join i hope that you can join any second and uh, come back because it's your tournament right it's just your tournament mate i hope that everything goes now again but right now it's not looking like that marius cannot do the speed check again it's so unforgiving if you make a mistake there and it is marius who has made that mistake look at that he has made that mistake and he Minus is right now on last position. Time. But Willy again with a mistake. Touches. There has no speed on that uphill. Look at that. But Marius is five seconds behind. So the, the fabulous Willy will still survive. I got you, and there you go. The other kill kid has let me, let me quickly. To I'm, I'm going to disable the alerts, guys, for um, uh, professional reasons here. I'm really appreciating that support. Do whatever you like. But I'm thanking you later. Because Granati might upload this to YouTube. So I'm just gonna mute those things, and thank you so much for the support, but I'm gonna thank you later for that. Marius is out, top 14 for him, and the Fabius really again on a top 13 position. So, um, he lost a bit of ground there, but he's still in. He is still in, guys. So let's go to the next round. Round number 9 already, 9 out of 20. Could join via phone, yeah, dude, that will be absolutely scuffed. I mean, do whatever you like. I can finish the job or you can also join and uh, spectate, but I'm not even sure if you can join the server. I think this will be way too scuffed. 
Okay, now Nalax is behind. One second behind the first place, which is occupied by Bresso, but Nalax with a lot of speed. Zemos with a very good setup for the no side. Nalax steering in too early. And he touches the checkpoint, and he needs a miracle. Also eats the gear here. Look at that. So Nalax now down to P number 13 and not able to come back. The fabulous Willy still in. Look at that. He is still in and going strong as well as Kubelkris, who didn't get the best run here. But Nalax on P13 improves. He was in his last finalist appearance. He was on P19. So GG's to him. 13th place is definitely a improvement for him. And there you go. P12 now about to be battled out. One person is getting eliminated. Yeah, of course, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that, Granati. <laughs> what is that horn, dude? <laughs> what is that horn, man? Oh my god. <laughs> dude. <laughs> Let's go into the next round. Zemaus. Uh, not with the best start, but Aria made that mistake. The DNF. Guy maybe about to DNF this round. Yeah, he's on the P number 12. And we have Zemaus also still in. Willy, mysteriously, fabulously, still in after a lot of bad rounds. And also Lars with a mistake on this uphill. So Aria can come back, but he's four seconds behind. So he cannot make it. So, you know, that was that is what Granati also said beforehand. It's quite unfortunate if you make one mistake here. And Shorty with an equal of his time, 43.438. Nice time here. And right now he is 0.17 ahead of the second, of the third local. And almost 0.1 ahead of Elcon. But of course you don't get bonus points, unlike as in the qualifier. So let's see. <laughs> well, Granati, thanks for the raid. <laughs> thanks for the raid, dude. <laughs> thanks for... <laughs> Dude, it's absolutely chaotic. We have a hype train. Granati <laughs> with the rate. Granati disconnecting. Oh my god, dude. This is incredible. Oh, dude. I'm feeling so bad. I'm just feeling so bad because I'm casting Granati's final. <laughs> and he deceived. And I'm getting a hype train, dude. It's, <laughs> it's, so, <laughs> it's so weird, man. Oh, oh my god, dude. Also, Zemaus now about to get eliminated and we have uh, willy again look at that a p number 10 for him just playing it safe not getting the best uphill but he is uh, still in it's enough for him to survive elcom with a 43.34 that is a good time as well and we have the top 10 now bear in mind that the top three is going home with prices. We have the first place winning a gaming mouse, a Wi-Fi gaming mouse from Logitech. Second place was winning a gaming keyboard from Logitech. And then the third place was winning a mug, I think. And some other goodies from Logitech, if I recall it correctly. I didn't listen to Granadi there because I was busy. Uh, yeah. Hmm? <laughs> no, all good, all good, all good. Let's go to the next one. Top 10, of course. Now it's a bit painful to go out because you uh, don't get anything. Uh, but of course, you still have the fun. And right now, Aria, who's still in, is a little bit further behind. We see no one making a mistake at the start. Look at that. We have North with a very wide line. Aria, Bresso, Elcon, very inside. Aria with no speed on this uphill. And also, Willy might be eliminated now. Will he survive it? Very close round between them. Willy with a mistake. And he might go out. And yes, that's all she wrote. Willy is out and he gets 10th position. And that was a good round. Only 1.4 seconds between the players. Ixon on first, Putsi Tupaco on second. And then we have OK Boys behind that. Lars Kubelkris and Shorty still in. And then Bresso as the last German as well. So there you go. So Willy out, but good performance. Very, very good performance. And let's go into round number 13 already. Thank you guys for the hype train. I'm gonna go through that in a second. Pussy to Paco, dead. Will he make the jump? Yes, he will. And he is three seconds behind Lars, who is only 0.3 behind Bresso, right now leading, but the field, of course, gets tied together after that slow section here. And Lars with a great nose set here. Look at the speed compared to Aria. He just comes a tremendous amount closer here. And Lars is on his way to survive yet another day. Pussy Dupaco needs a miracle. And no one fails it. I mean, what can you even fail? You can eat a gear. 
but you cannot really miss the finish. You cannot really slow down unless you complete brain lag. You lose like a couple of hundreds, but uh, Pussy Tobacco cannot come back from that. But I think from now on, I think the rounds will be close, of course, unless someone makes a mistake. That's, of course, the reward for you of playing consistent, of... Um, just saving it. I thought actually that Marius would do quite good on this one, but one mistake can really pull you off guard. <sighs> yeah, blue hair. <laughs> Dude, what is that horn, North? <laughs> what is that horn, man? <laughs> oh, okay, North on P8. And we have a mistake from Shorty. Shorty with a mistake. Shorty with a mistake, and guys, I think with that, that's CDG, and we have only two more OK boys left, Kubel, Chris, and Lars. Let's take a look here. Will someone fail the ending? Maybe um, someone has received a PayPal transaction from Shorty.de, but no, that is not the case. No one has found his PayPal.me link, and Shorty's out. 43.66, also good time here from Lars Winsett, head of Elcon. We press on P3. And there you go, X1 behind, Area North, and Kubelkris still in, P7. So guys, four more rounds until we have our first winner. Uh, can you quickly put in the chat again um, what uh, prices there were? It looks so weird, 16 to 9. What do you mean? It looks normal. Okay, oh, oh, good. Okay. And that's like the cup, okay. That, I was actually right. You get a keyboard and a headset for a second, and then a mouse. Okay, cool. Very nice. I mean, a, a good mouse is always important. I was also thinking about getting a wireless mouse, but let's see who gets eliminated. Chris with a mistake in this uphill. And uh, we have North catching up. Can Chris survive it? Good line though, but I think it's not enough for him. Oh, he lost a bit too much there by touching. And Chris is out, but definitely a good round. Ixon with a point forty seven eight. Elcon on second, Bresso on third, Lars on fourth, Area North, and then Chris. So only one more okay boy left. Only one more <laughs> okay boy left. <clears throat> Um, you're not, but usually wireless is better. And there's also like some induction um, mouse pad. It's fine, I would say. So let's see. Top six, Ixon. Ah, uh, good start. Very aggressive line here on the inside. Look at the speed from Ixon. Like a very good trial player, but also very versatile for him. Or very versatile playing style. North getting the slide. <laughs> Wicked! <laughs> What was that flip, dude? <laughs> and that horn, dude. This horn. Oh my god, North, dude. You absolute legend. North is out. And North was the replacement. And he almost went out in the first round. And he gets P number six. So GG's to North America. But North is not going anywhere. He's going out and not going north. <laughs> hmm. Well... <clears throat> Next round. <laughs> good, 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 good job there. Good job. Okay, next round. Let's see who makes it. We still have two Germans left. Area from Belgium, then Ixon from Croatia, and Elcon, who has one cup of the day by the looks of it um, today. I think just what I heard from the others uh, right now on. Um, the bubble man spot because Lars has made a mistake, so he might survive another day. Lars with a lot of speed in this uphill. Look at that. He comes closer. Will he be able to survive it? Arian Elcon need a good ending. Two players go for the left approach. Lars with a slide, with a no step, but he doesn't make it. And look at that. He is out. Lars on P5. And we only have Bresso left, but what a round that was. Good round here. Like 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, and another 0.6. And Lars out with one mistake there. Unfortunate stuff. Top four. Only one more person left to be eliminated before we're gonna go into the prices. So good luck. And I hope that uh, you don't get eliminated now. But of course, one player has to go out. 
So let's see who it will be. Elcon, I think, went very wide there. So let's take a look onto his line. Elcon with a mistake. Bresso giga wide here. A lot of speed for him, but of course traveled more distance. Thus is losing a bit of ground, but Elcon looks to be eliminated and doesn't get the money. The bubble is popping now after this round and the third place will win an alternate attacks mug and also all the other positions. Elcon with a bug sided approach. I was also thinking about that, but I think you're just messing up with your gear too much in that downhill. So Elcon out. And we have Ixon, Bresso and Area definitely winning some prizes. So only one price going to Germany. So um, chipping will be a bit more expensive. All right, next round. <laughs> next round, ladies and gentlemen. Who's gonna win what here? Who's only gonna win a mug? So top three only getting a mug, right? No, third place is winning the headset, never mind. Third place is winning the headset, second place is winning the keyboard, and first place winning the mouse. And right now it's looking like that area will win the headset because he has made a mistake, so the final will be Bresse versus Ixon. Ixon going so close there to the checkpoint. Not going for the no side here, and Bresse with a very inside line, thus having not as much speed as um, Ixon, but Ixon also was eating the gear. Let's take a look here. What is going on? All right, there you go. Chat going crazy, I see it. And good luck and GG's to um, Area who wins the headset. So now we have the final guys. Who's gonna take it? Who's gonna win the alternate attacks edition, which was super chaotic, but who's gonna take it? Next year, next month, we also have an addition. Ixon versus Bresso. Bresso, very aggressive line, is not going super, super inside like Ixon. Ixon with more speed, but Bresso with a very interesting approach here. It's only one car length between them, only 0.1 of a second. Who has the better ending? Bresso opens up accordingly, and Ixon with a very wide line. Bresso with no speed. Ixon is overtaking him here, but it will be all in the ending. But look at that. Ixon with so much more speed, and it looks like that he's gonna win the alternate attack. Circuit! He has touched, but gets the gear. Who's gonna win it here? Bresso has the upper hand, and Ixon will get second position. This was so close, though. Oh my god, Bresso wins it. What a round. The gear shenanigans at the end have decided, and it was Bresso. Keeping a cool head. Look at that. Ixon doesn't win it. And Bresso has it. Despite not having the most amount of speed. Damn. So Ixon with the keyboard. Then we have Bresso winning the mouse. And Area winning the headset. And everyone wins also a mug. An alternate attacks mug. So GG's to the players. Next edition will be on Wednesday. But you're not gonna see me on... I mean you're gonna see my POV on this channel. But you're gonna see Granadis. Um, wait, next week. Yeah, we're not in Paris there. Well, but yeah, I'm the true winner of this, you know? You know, I got a level 4 hype train, I got like 10 million gift subs. Thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you very, very much, guys. Like, I really appreciate it. It was quite unexpected, but I think I did the best out of that. Quite unfortunate for you, Granati, that you have to see it, but... Sometimes it do be like that. <laughs> but guys, what did you do? Minotel with one, two... Three, four gift subs. Thank you so much. Schlupsen also gifting one, two subs. Overkill Kid with a gift sub. Zovi Marcus also with a gift sub. Thank you guys so, so much for the support. I really, really appreciate it. There were also tier three subs underneath that. Thank you guys. And I'm gonna ask the boys now how did they find the map? Hello. 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 Uh, so Hello. things, things have happened. Gone? Uh, Granadi deceived and I had to jump in for him, so I have to do now the post-interview. How did you like the map? Yeah, that well, was pretty, uh, you know... Nothing really it? happened, but uh, it was okay, it was okay. <laughs> well, it, it was a drift. Yeah, two yeah, drifts. There, 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 there was a drift and there was a dual turn, yes. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and some gears. Oh, it, was a, it was a bit uh, weird in the middle, it was not... Uh, super clear if it actually still counts or not, but yeah, it was then the no I, like after two or three rounds, and it was pretty clear, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's good with the no side. I mean, 
there were two different lines. Like uh, in the final, we had two different lines. Yeah, yeah, that was good, definitely planned by Granadi. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, very, very <laughs> well. And also the, different, the, the two only different lines uh, in the end, left or right. It's kind of interesting, but uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean, the map was quite boring, but I think still very fun to watch, especially the last rounds. I think it was a cool map. You could push. I was also thinking about a bug site, but, you know, if you mess up the start, like I've seen Marius just clipping, you know, it's it's over. Yeah, honestly, I think the... I <laughs> you are quite boring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the transition was of course impossible to clear uh, then. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, I, I actually really like the idea with the long penalty in the middle. Like it just uh, everybody gets close <laughs> again in the uh, in, from spectating so from the spectator <laughs> com, uh, view. It looks super close, even though the the distance is still by. But it looks kind of nice that everybody is so close for one time on the track yeah. at least. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's a good idea. Positive, uh, yeah. And you could also oh, yeah, risk before uh, to keep, get speed. Yeah, yeah but yeah, uh, keep practicing the mapping things, Kanadi. <laughs> dude, I, I mean, I had comments yesterday when I mapped, people were like, dude, never open the map editor again and stuff. I think, Kanadi, it's not long that you get those messages as well. <laughs> no, the map was fine, dude. <laughs> it was okay, really. It was a fine map. But it just feels like a 10-year-old is building them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know the I mean, it sounds exactly like I, I described the first map. Like, it's, it's okay, it's okay. But it's like objectively the worst map you could build. Like, <laughs> it's getting know. better, it's getting better. The yeah, backwards like, map like, was like, really good. Like, yeah, and yeah like I remember the a... tracks like, that I built in 2004 and in 2005. <laughs> when the game came out. <laughs> we are so uh, mean. I see similarities uh, there. <laughs> uh, just, just maybe add like 20, 30 seconds or something. Maybe They're... then it, uh, you have a few more uh, turns at least. Oh. That would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah, by the way, it was not lucky because of the map for me. It was lucky because my electricity cable was not fully in it seems ah. and it didn't get electricity and then it was hella lucky yeah and that's why marius went also early otherwise he would have crushed us yeah no, i would have well, gone out when last got out <laughs> this was a good round was that irony shorty <laughs> no no not at all <laughs> <laughs> i mean why you mentioned shorty that, would okay. never shorty would never <laughs> oh, okay oh dude I mean, it reminds me of the oh, we didn't even practice that much in, in, in the good old CPS I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean it, it, for, for, for Marius fans, it's very important to know that Marius wouldn't have gone out in the top 14 round, it would have been the top 7 round. Yeah, especially not out by a crash. I mean. <laughs> It was yeah. so funny because every time when someone crashed the first corner or the, the like before the jump, before the first one, I knew that he's gonna not make the, the transition. I actually had one touch there that I still made it, but uh, it was only a very small touch at least. Yeah. I was very scared of that. Did not think I would die the way I died, but yeah, well, what can you do? I just died on your arms tonight. Okay, that's something else. Yeah, I just had like, in, when I went out, I just had a bad drift and then like two, oh. two three tenths behind already was uh, oh. good. I have seen the light again, guys. Is that... oh, oh my that god, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. My eyes! Oh my god, can I please change it, man? Oh, dude. Dude. It's a flashbang. But I think it was an okay map. But maybe, like, two or three more things. Maybe add some poles or something. Or an Angolo or something like that. My, my face literally looking like that when I see that. But yeah, guys. Thank you so much for watching. YouTube people, see you in another video. Make sure to give Granadis YouTube a follow, a subscription, and Twitch Prime.